take time to think about who you're friends with. Contact old friends. Avoid idiot boyfriends. Help people with bullying. Follow your passions, regardless of social pressure. Make your ambitions heard. No confrontation. Or hardship. Get friends to help. Have the power to make new friends and build a strong friend base. I want to be liked. I want to be noticed. I love to sing. But I'm never heard. I want a phone that works. I want a sausage dog. I want to be more adventurous. I want to be allowed to go out with friends. More money to do social things. I wish I spent more time outside with my friends rather than inside on my phone. Cheaper activities. More social spaces. I wish it was easier to talk to people. I hate when my friends get stressed and then take it out on me. I would like to change how quickly people judge others. This would make people feel safer and less vulnerable. People would feel more stable. This could also help them feel less alone. There might be more friendships as people get to know someone who is different. People I would change the stereotypes that people have about other groups of people. Be assumed I feel like not everyone like understands that someone. people are people. I would change the way people judge others, people. only based on the way not. they look. Don't judge a book by its cover. These thoughts and assumptions are almost never correct. We're individual, genetically and personality wise. People tell you to be yourself but then judge you on what you like or look like. I think a change in society is needed. Many people these days are abusive, homophobic, or racist. People may call someone Ignoring else someone judge gay before getting to know someone. someone. These are things that I see daily. We shouldn't judge people based on the colour of their skin, or their culture, or their religion. Everyone should be accepted, no matter their ability, age, race, ethnicity, or class. Throughout time, society has suddenly selected what is to be considered right and wrong. Sexuality, wealth and ability are things that need to be to a certain point or type. If these standards aren't met, then the person's indicated as an outcast. I want to be liked. I want to be noticed. I love to sing. But I'm never heard. Is it ever enough? Will I ever have enough friends? I was thinking about some of the stuff people said to us about friends and it got me thinking It's good to be noticed, but only for the correct reasons If you go in the pursuit of attention, it has the potential to go wrong You won't be able to tell the difference between your true friends and the people who could ditch you at any given point However, if you get noticed for the right reasons, such as for being kind, or being funny, or being helpful Then people treat you better
It's ruthless, our education at the moment. The successful ones get encouraged and the failing ones get dropped. We need more apprenticeships, give people more of a chance of getting a job. Yeah, they should make exams more relevant, prepare us for actual jobs. Make education more about shaping people rather than pointless grades and examinations. Being told that we have to be someone we're not, perfect, it's like a slap in the face because we know we can't achieve it. A bit of pressure is okay because it keeps us motivated, but this isn't. 12 A stars does not equal happiness. I would change the focus placed on examinations to make or break your future. A memory test is not a true representation of an individual and should not be treated as such. Michael Gove was mentioned once in a comment which was said was unflattering and unrepeatable. Give more choice in what people study. I think we should have less coursework. I wouldn't change the new education system because that's a mean trial jet. Instead of new exams, I would keep the old GCSEs and not scrap coursework, counting to your final grade as a young person, they'd be academically good, yet bad in exams. I think we should be more like Finland. Finland? Yeah, Finland. Or one of the other Scandinavian countries. They're all super relaxed about education and their students are super smart. No, 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 no. We've got to be responsible for our education. No maths! More maths! No maths! More maths! Alright, maybe not. Was any of that relevant? It's not just academic pressure as kids go through, but also the pressure of fitting in. I wish I was more confident at school. The pressure from teachers, parents, to take certain GCSEs hardly helps. I don't think adults understand what us kids go through. Maybe they've forgotten. We need to improve the workspace. It's not a nice environment. I think we should go on more trips, you know, and actually experience the world. I struggle to keep in touch with my friends due to travelling between school, home, and my boyfriends. Boyfriends? That isn't what I meant. Well, that's what you wrote, and it just goes to show poor grammar can get into all sorts of situations. If sleep is so important, and the key to achieving, why doesn't school start around 10.30? No, I think my college allows you to have too much time off. I would much rather be there and studying for my final project. More sleep! More work! More sleep! More work! Well, I guess you can't please everyone. I would like the dishwasher to be fixed. I like to change how often I take my dog out for walks. The amount of chores I do on top of work and school. Less cleaning and more time in my cat. I would like to help out more at home. I'd like to contribute more fairly to family chores and uh, help out my younger family members. For my brother to get a good job. To be allowed to go out more. Faster internet. More TV time. Lots of computer games. More YouTube time. More sweets. More pocket money. Unlimited ice cream. To be treated more like an adult at home. I'd like to change my family's enthusiasm for me moving out. I think home is very important. It's a place where you can relax, stay safe, and go to at the end of a long day. You can do what you want, when you want. Something I think should happen is more action ticket for the homeless. No one wouldn't want to be in that situation, so we should help them more.
I would love to change that my granddad is ill, as I know he won't be around much longer. It's horrible thinking that, but it's true. I'd love to be with my family more, as me and my mum used to be really close, but we sort of drifted apart because of her going to work and me going to college. I would like to see my family. It's not my birth mum's fault that I got taken away. I think it's bad that we are separated. I would like to meet up with real family. Lately, my parents and other family members have been arguing with each other. I would like for it to change, or at least to show them that I know what's happening. It seems like my family are drifting apart. More private time! I don't want to fight with my sister. I would like my brother to be a good boy and for him to do his homework. I would like to turn my older brother into a monkey. I don't want my mum and dad to believe in me and what I want to do. I wish my biological dad would stay out of my life. Sometimes I wish I could live with my friends. I'd appreciate my family more. It would be great if people could actually come round without my family embarrassing me. <sighs> no arguing. I'd like my family to spend more time with each other so we can go out to places together. Hey guys, do you want to go out for some pizza? Yeah. More opportunities, more money. Stay focused and think ahead. Do something you have a passion for. Good job. Job security. Student finance. Oxbridge. Investment bankers rich. More future planning. Ban uncensored videos from social media. Reboot Firefly. Phone life is shocking. Legalise marijuana. Less age-restricted computer games. More police on the streets. Wind turbines, renewable energy, cleaner energy, stop littering. Be nice to animals, global warming. No money, no obligations, no HS2. Change how expensive mortgages are. Better standards of living. More help to buy, more help to move. I hope to have my own home sometime. Somewhere in London. Transport. More bus routes, better bus fares, better roads in the city. More parking. Free parking, disabled spots. Stop people parking in disabled and child spaces without a blue badge or a child. I'd like to live in Africa for two months. Um, I want to live in Antigua when I retire. What would I change? Um... I'd like flying cars. Yeah. <laughs> and time travel. Yeah. One thing I would change is motorists' attitudes to cyclists and the reverse. The way this country treats disabled people is disgusting. Personally, I think people should be more aware of old people. Remember, kids are real people. Reform centre-right politics to become more inclusive. Reject the public school elite. Make it a force of true economic and social liberalism. Recognise there's a party of the many, not the few. Let more foreigners into the country. Let less foreigners into the country. Oh, but many people are disengaged with the government and don't give enough thought to their own place in society. Create a party that rewards aspiration and isn't tainted by links to the vested interests of unions or the super-rich. 
Cyber safety. Getting bullied. Space colonies. A stable economy. Hey guys, I would just like to say that people don't actually want to bring about change. Both the Conservative and the Labour Party are too afraid of making a bold statement because they don't want to offend people. Thanks for listening guys, and as always, like, comment and subscribe. The human rights of every human being in the world should be fulfilled. Everyone deserves food, water, shelter and equality. Oh, thanks, man. Hey guys, so today I'm here with Lily and we're going to talk about some things we feel fairly passionate about. So, I think that instead of spending millions and millions of pounds on pointless things like phones and holidays and space travel, instead of some of the world's most educated people working on stupid things, that we should be putting all of it into trying to find a cure for cancer or end world hunger. I'd like to have a happy and successful future. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean I'll have loads of money and live in a mansion but I hope to have love and support from my friends and family. Yep, so bye guys, see you next week. And if you'd like to check out some of my videos, click on the link below. In the future, I'd like to be an MP. Or an actor. I'd like to be a singer. Or work with children. I just want comfortable shoes. I'd like my parents to see me get married. I'd like to adopt children. I want for The Simpsons to never end. I'd like to live in a world where people can just get along. I'm happy now. And in the future, I want to still be happy. <laughs>